Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do another quick episode for you today um, and I wanted to talk about sported wood um, and more importantly doing your own sporting in your workshop. Now very briefly, sporting is when a piece of, root, well, a piece of wood has begun to rot uh, which is caused by fungus um, and generally if a tree falls, um, you know, if it's windblown or you cut it down and you leave it out in the elements for too long, it will begin to rot. And if you catch it early enough, um, that rot and the patterns that the fungus take inside the grain of the wood can actually make a really, really pretty piece. Now, I don't have a particularly good example in my workshop, but if you do a quick Google search of sported wood, um, you'll generally find some really nice pictures with some really fine lines that almost look like the contours um, sort of on a map or something like that. Now, we made our sycamore longbowl a little while ago, and this is pretty heavily sported. It's not been done in a particularly pretty way, so you've got some really dark pieces here, some dark lines up there, few on the back. Um, now, it's not the best example by any means, but I do quite like it. I think it gives a nice kind of rustic look to a bowl like this. Um, and this comes from a piece of sycamore, and from the same tree, I've got this. Um, and hopefully you can see on the camera, it is beginning to start that sporting process. Now, in order to do this yourself, and I, I discovered this completely by accident, so usually if I harvest some wood, um, I like to keep it as fresh as I can for as long as I can. And to do that, I leave it inside a plastic bag, normally with a small air hole. Um, and that allows some of the moisture to escape, but very, very slowly. And the problem is, unless you take that out of the bag every couple of days, let it sort of dry on the outer surfaces, then put it back into a fresh bag that doesn't have all the moisture built up on the walls, um, the rot will set in quite quickly. Now, what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to move the camera a bit closer in and I'll explain a little bit more by what I mean um, and explain the process of what I tend to do to try and sport wood in my own workshop. Right, so here's my piece of sycamore, and as I've already said, you can sort of see the sporting beginning on the sides here. And if I just turn this round, you can see, especially kind of up here, we're starting to get a lot of fungus building up. And the reason for that is that I left this in a plastic bag um, for probably a couple of weeks, completely forgot about it. Now, I took this out of the bag yesterday, um, and it was absolutely soaked. So I've left it overnight just to dry out. Uh, the insides here is where you can see a little bit of it starting kind of here down the side. Not so much here, but that's not a problem. Um, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be putting this back in its plastic bag um, and leaving it for a little while just to help that sporting develop. Now I've got a little project in mind for this, which I'm probably gonna start next week. Um, so what I'll be doing is carving this, putting it back in the plastic bag with some shavings, um, and that will hopefully um, allow that sporting process to carry on whilst I'm carving. So just to give you a bit of a better idea guys, this is the kind of thing that I will use, just a standard carrier bag, you know, you can use anything you've got to hand, a bin bag, carrier bag, that kind of thing, um, and I will leave my piece of wood inside, I will kind of crumple down the sort of the top of the bag, just leaving a little bit of a gap, not too much in there, um, and that will allow some of the moisture to escape, but a lot of it will be held in this bag. Um, and as I say, what you need to do ideally is to take it out of the bag every few days, um, let it dry out for maybe an hour, um, either turn the bag inside out or get a new bag, put it in there and off you go. Now, one of the things I find with when I'm actually carving something is I will normally leave a lot of the fresh wood shavings that I've, I've chopped off or carved off or whatever I've done inside the bag because they're full of moisture as well and that just creates a little bit more of a moist environment in the bag um, and again as I say the reason I, I, I sort of the way I discovered this was I was doing some carving and I completely forgot that I actually had this in the bag um, and I left it for about a week came in it was absolutely soaking there was fur all over it where the mold was setting in um, and that was fine so I cleaned off all of that mold um, and you could see the evidence of sporting underneath now the bowl, uh, which is here, I mean, that one I left for a considerable amount of time and I could have sanded away a lot of these dark marks, but actually I thought I quite liked them. Um, now I've seen videos and blogs and things online where people have basically said, you know, you can sport things yourself and what you can do, you can take a piece of wood and you can get a big plastic container, put, it in, put a, a thin layer of earth on the bottom, 
then put your thing in, then cover it with more earth so it's completely covered and you leave that for a few weeks in damp conditions um, and that's certainly one way of doing it but for me you know, that's quite a lot of hassle and you've then got potentially that the uh, the earth or the mud that you're using will stain the wood and so on and so forth um, so I find just keeping it in a moist environment and as I say ideally a bag um, you could use a plastic container for it you could get like one of these um, little storage boxes or something like that um, and just keep it in a sort of mild moist environment. Um, now I can't with, with any sort of guarantee say how well it will work in terms of certain woods. I'm sure most of them will sort of take to uh, or take some sporting in one way or another. Um, I've never been able to sort of do it finely enough to get exactly the kind of patterns, the sort of the really thin lines that I would like on there. Um, but I think that's probably more just trial and error. Um, but really, this was just meant to be a really, really quick video, um, just to sort of give you an idea of, you know, if you like that kind of sported look, um, and depending on how far you're willing to let it go, um, it's actually very, very easy to do it in your workshop. And if you're anything like me and you sort of do carving in stages, um, you know, I, I, unfortunately I work Monday to Friday, so most of the time it's the weekends when I get a chance to carve. But it's not just doing this stuff in my workshop, which I'd, I'd love to do it sort of all the time. Um, but I also, you know, have other things to do, family commitments and so on. So I'll come out, I'll spend a few hours in my workshop, and then I'll tuck everything away in a bag, more so so that it doesn't split. I mean, that's why I leave my carvings in a plastic bag, um, to stop them from splitting. Um, but actually, as, as a side uh, product of that if you like especially if you do what I do and you forget about it for a little while and you know you don't come in midweek and take it out and let it dry um, you can actually get some really really nice patterns um, caused by mold but still make the thing look really nice um, and just the last thing I wanted to say is that where I say this is caused by mold and rock which it is um, it's certainly not dangerous to you um, and certainly not dangerous to the end product so this was quite heavily um, sort of covered in fur and things as I say when I'd left it for a sort of well, I think I'd left it for about two weeks if memory serves um, and all you do is you give it a quick wipe down with a cloth um, if you're really concerned you can give it a bit of a sand as well um, and then once you've put your finish on there whether that's oil or beeswax or, or lacquer or whatever you're going to do um, you know it's now perfectly safe to use with food you know there's no risk of contamination of someone getting ill or anything like that um, but anyway guys I've rambled on long enough so that was just my quick video um, to give, maybe just give you something to think about if you kind of want to have something that looks slightly different than sort of you know a virgin wood if you like um, you want to have something a little bit different a little bit of a patina on there um, highly recommend trying to do your own sporting as I say you can throw a load of wood chippings in there you can even give it a little squirt of water if you want to make it particularly moist in there um, and that just allows you to kind of as long as you keep an eye on it and maybe check back every few days swap bags every now and again so that it doesn't get too damp in there um, and you can very very easily do your own sporting so anyway guys hope it was useful comments and questions in the box below hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and i hope you'll all join me next time thanks guys